Hi Deadly Discoverers. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to continue with snake bite first aid for our snake safety Saturday. If you didn't watch last week's episode, then please go and do that now. It is on YouTube, it is on Facebook. We are going to demonstrate the PIB technique. But a reminder, this is the correct treatment for Australian snake bite. Leah has been out in the garden doing some mulching. She was not wearing any shoes. She felt something brush past her leg and she thinks that she saw a snake slithering away. Watch, listen, and learn a life-saving skill. Leah, why are you sitting down? You are meant to be mulching. Look at this big pile. <laughs> I think I've been bitten by a snake. I think I saw it slither away, but there are a few sticks in the mulch pile, so maybe it's okay. It was just a stick hitting my leg. Okay, first thing we need to do is get you to lay down flat and keep very, very still while I have a little look for any signs of bite marks. Okay. Should we go look for the snake though? No, <laughs> you need to stay still and calm. I can actually see quite obvious bite marks here. So I'm gonna call triple zero. I just need you to remain very still in case you've been envenomated. We certainly don't need to go and get the snake. The snake is not needed for identification purposes and it's much safer to just leave the snake alone. If there were no visible bite marks, we would still follow the exact same procedure because any potential bite needs to be treated seriously. Okay, so please just follow, listen and learn. I'm starting to feel really hot. Can we quickly jump in the car and go to the hospital? No, the ambulance is on its way, but we need to get a pressure bandage on to slow the spread of any venom. I know that you're feeling anxious and scared, but what we are doing is the best thing. Did you know that 90% of snake bites are a dry bite? So no venom has been injected. So I just need you to try and keep calm. The ambulance will be here very soon and I'm gonna be with you the whole time. Okay. I've got my snake bite first aid kit. So I'm just going to, I will need to minimize movement of this bitten limb. So I'm gonna prop it up on the first aid kit. You could use your boot if you wanted to. I've got my bandage ready, so I need to start bandaging this limb from the extremity. So start wrapping around the toes there. I need to leave the little tips of the toes clear so I can monitor them for blood circulation. I don't want them to go blue. So I am overlapping this bandage about halfway. And I need to do the entire limb keeping her as still as I can. You okay there, Leah? Yes, I'm doing well. Fantastic. So I want to get a nice even pressure here. So you should be able to see that in the pattern. I'm overlapping. All right, I'm just going to lift slightly to get past this bit here. Okay, let's get the rest of this limb bandaged up. Don't need to take clothing off. We bandage over the clothing. If she had jewelry on, if she had a little anklet or something, I would cut that away just for comfort. And all the way up the limb. Now, I'm just coming up to your groin area, Leah. So I hope you're not too ticklish in there. <laughs> Nice and close and personal. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. All right, that bandage is on and done. And I can just tuck that under there to secure it. Okay, so that is the limb completely bandaged. So the idea of this bandage is that you have a constant even temp tension all the way up the entire limb. We don't want it too tight because that's going to make for a tourniquet and lead to further problems. And you don't want it too loose because then it's just going to not help you at all. So these bandages are just fantastic. It takes all that guesswork out of it just following the indicator. If the bite was on the bottom,
body, torso or on the head, then we wouldn't worry about any bandaging at all. We just use immobilization. Perhaps today is not very hot, but if it was a very hot day, um, Leah, I could offer her small sips of water and I might do that with a, with a glass and a straw just to minimize any movement again. Um, and then once the ambulance does arrive, it's just following the instructions from the paramedic. All right, let's just do a quick recap through. So uh, there's a few do nots about uh, snake bite first aid in Australia. So do not interfere with the bite site in any way, okay? Don't wash it, don't suck on it. Do not cut it, do not urinate on it. <laughs> do not use a tourniquet, you are gonna lead to further problems. Do not remove clothing. Do not allow the patient to walk or move around. And do not try to catch and kill the snake, okay? Those are big do nots. What we need you to do is reassure the patient Keep them calm, keep them still. Apply the pressure bandage and monitor the patient at all times. You need to check on the vitals. Check on the extremities for circulation, so either the toes or the fingertips if the arm has been bandaged. Um, but the main thing is checking on those vitals. Cardiac collapse is possible with snake bite and it can be fatal. So you may need to use CPR, it just may be necessary and that takes precedence over any bandaging. These are the snake bite bandages that we use and we do have these inside our first aid kit. So there's a complete first aid kit here for snake bite in Australia. We do sell both of these on our website. So if you wanna to go to our website, you should be able to order these online. If you have any questions about first aid for snake bite, then just email us and you can email us through our website. So these bandages have been designed specifically for snake bite. The bandage itself has instructions. Uh, we also have full instructions in our kits. Um, but the idea of these bandage is they have an indicator on them. So this helps us get the right compression or tension when we're applying the bandage. The aim is to turn this rectangle into a square. You don't want it to become a rectangle again. That's going to be too tight and act as a tourniquet. You do need it to be a square. And that's what you need to look at all the way up your bandage. So these are fantastic. So not only do they have this indicator, they're actually quite comfortable and they're really long. So these stretch out to over 10 meters. So that is enough to do an entire limb. It's enough to do your entire arm. You get right into the armpit. That's where the lymph nodes are. And there's extra left over so you can wrap it around your neck. You can tuck it under your arm and it will act as a sling as well. So that's one less thing you have to put into your first aid kit. They are long enough to do an entire leg, but if you are a very tall or quite a large person, you might want to invest in a second bandage. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, no snake is dangerous if you leave it alone.